I'm very honored to be proud of that first group of women. I think they accomplished so much and they went so far. The Mounties with their Stetson hat and rich red uniforms have long been one of our country's most iconic images. But for over 100 years, that image was exclusively male. That, however, all changed 50 years ago when the first 32 female RCMP officers were sworn in as Troop 17. Can you believe it's been 50 years? <laughs> no, I can't. That's, that's a long time. Following a suggestion from a friend, Winnipeg's Carol Briggs was one of the 292 women to apply for the RCMP in the early 70s and would go on to be one of the 32 selected to begin training in September of 1974 at a training depot in Regina. And these were women from right across Canada and uh, nobody knew each other at all and uh, I think we got along really well and always always tried to help the other person. Having never trained women in their history, there was plenty of growing pains in the early days for Troop 17, specifically when it came to their uniforms, as women were dressed in one-piece coveralls during training and had to wear men's pants and carry purses instead of a holster when off base. Exactly like overalls. They were navy blue, one-piece, uh, almost like a mechanic would wear. That's, that's kind of what it looked like. Yes. And when you saw those, what was, what was going through your mind? Well, uh, I guess I thought, well, we're all in this together. There's 32 of us, and this is the way it is. We'll just go with it. Yeah. Wanting to be closer to home and her ailing father, Briggs opted out of the regular training routine, finishing her time at the academy two months early, becoming the first woman to graduate as an RCMP cadet. It encouraged them to look at other groups, too, that they you know, wouldn't have normally hired at that time because it was so long ago. And uh, uh, I think the uh, hiring the women was kind of a first step in that. Briggs will reunite with her old troop this weekend as a reunion will be held in Regina to commemorate their trailblazing achievement. In Winnipeg, Kurt Black, City News.